Being sued over hacking allegations, the pair getting hit with a $5 million proposed class action federal lawsuit alleging their camera systems are vulnerable to cyber attacks. The lawsuit also charging that after reports of back-to-back -back hackings, Ring responded by blaming its customers, saying they used weak passwords that were previously compromised. The lawsuit is seeking $5 million in damages for negligence and invasion of privacy. While hot sauce lovers beware, there's a recall of sriracha hot chili sauce for fears bottles may explode. According to Food Standards Australia New Zealand, a buildup of lactic acid may cause the bottles to bloat and continue to ferment, resulting in a possible explosion of sriracha. 17 and 28 ounce bottles within an expiration date of March 2021 should be disposed of. Well, up next is your look at sports with Nick Walters. And Nick, a lot of loud and proud hog calls going on out there. Yeah, you could possibly say that Arkansas is hotter than Sriracha right now. So uh, both, both men and women hogs played their final game of the decade on Sunday. And fans couldn't ask for a better way to flip the page to 2020. The boys notched perhaps their most impressive win of the season, gaining respect as a contender in the SEC. And the girls leave a team in the dust, more than doubling, doubling their score. Also, the King Cotton Classic Championship. Out-of-state schools duke it out in Pine Bluff for a tournament title. Find out more on the other end of the break. The new year calls for a new look. During the New Year's Super Sale at Furniture Row, find fresh designs in living, dining, and bedroom. Plus, get 100 bucks off every thousand you spend. And five years no interest. The New Year's Super Sale, only at Furniture Row. Back those halls, trim those trees, raise up Now's your last chance to save on the gift you really want at Nissan's year-end event. Get in today and save big on our tech-filled lineup, like Rogue or Altima, both with available Safety Shield 360. Hurry, event ends January 2nd. Save up to $3,500 or get 0% financing for 60 months on the 2020 Rogue. It's our half off after Christmas sale at Family Leisure. You've taken care of the family. Now, how about a gift for yourself? Up to half off on display models, closeouts, even new items. Save hundreds, even thousands on pool tables and shuffleboards. Game tables from $99. Theater seating and massage chairs are priced to move. Spas as low as $17.99. Stay warm this winter with a noose on our tanning bed. Hot deals on these great items as well. Half off after Christmas sale going on now at Family Leisure. Every New Year's Eve, it's the same thing. People drink and drive and someone gets injured or killed. Matt is mad about drunk driving. One of the worst parts about our job at Rainwater Holt and Section is seeing the aftermath of drunk driving. So we're doing something about it. Don't drink and drive. Just call 222-2222 for a free ride home from Yellow Cab. Just tell them we're paying. This New Year's Eve, don't drink and drive. Take a free Yellow Cab home. Tell them Rainwater Holton Saxon is paying. Five steps for perfect winter skin. Five steps. My skin gets so dry and itchy, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe Skin Repair. It's 48-hour moisture in one use and guaranteed relief for dry, itchy skin. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my skin back. Yummy <laughs> lip balm. Yummy lip balm? My lips get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keefe's Lip Repair. It's all-day moisture in one use and is guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked lips. Thanks to O'Keefe's, I got my lips back. Surprise! A new Buick? For me? To James, from James. That's just what I wanted. Is this a new Buick? I secret sanded myself. I shouldn't have. I have been very good this year. I love it. I love it. Don't forget you this holiday season. Get an SUV from Buick. Get just over 7,500 below MSRP on this 2020 Buick Enclave Avenue. See your Arkansas Select Buick dealer. The new year calls for a new look. During the New Year's Super Sale at Furniture Row, find fresh designs in living, dining, and bedroom. Plus, get 100 bucks off every thousand you spend, and five years no interest. The New Year's Super Sale only at Furniture Row. Fox 16 News is sponsored by UAMS Health for a better state of health. Now. Fox 16 Sports with Wes Moore. Happy New Year's Eve Eve. I'm Nick Walters with Sports. The ball hasn't dropped just yet, but the Razorbacks are already giving fans reason to celebrate. Both basketball teams ended the decade by adding the, a win to the win column. We start with the men's team making a statement on their holiday road trip. 
The Hogs have fans ready to ride the must bus. The Eric Musselman led Razorbacks beat Indiana on Sunday, 71 64. Their final match of the year came against their toughest opponent so far. In a back and forth affair, Arkansas pulled away late. Isaiah Joe led the way with 24 points, and the Hogs' defense looked stout, holding the Hoosiers to 24% beyond the arc. Arkansas is 11 and 1 heading into conference play, and has, some, and has some calling them legitimate contenders in the SEC. The Razorbacks kick off 2020 by hosting LSU on Saturday. The women gave fans and head football coach Sam Pittman a lot to cheer for on Sunday. Razorbacks trample UT Martin 96 to 46. Starting and staying hot, the Hogs put up a 50 burger in the in the first half alone en route to their 12th win on the year. No signs of rust out of the holiday break from these Razorbacks, as Arkansas shows why they're ranked 20th in the AP poll. Never have had a team play that well going into the holidays like they did in Little Rock and then turn around and come back and continue to play that well. We'll, we'll try to figure out what happens so we can duplicate it in the future. Focus we had coming off of Christmas break. Uh, we came out, we had a lot of focus and played with a lot of heart and we just, we didn't look past them at all. The King Cotton Classic comes to a close in Pine Bluff, but not before a championship featuring top seed out of state powers. NSU University of Florida and Centennial High of California. These Tampa Bay and Los Angeles area teams meet in Central Arkansas, going at it for a, for a tournament crown. Each squad eliminated home state teams from the winner's bracket to get here. NSU knocked off Little Rock Parkview on Friday, Centennial down two Arkansas teams, Bryant on Friday, Jacksonville on Saturday. And the championship lived up to the tournament's hype. Down by five at half, Centennial came out of the locker rooms firing. The Huskies would go on to win 64-53, repping Cali at the King Cotton Classic. Dwindled down from a 12-team field, top finishers are set. Centennial takes gold, NSU University, silver. Chicago Ore finishes in third place, defeating Jacksonville today, 68-58. As for other Arkansas teams in the consolation bracket, Parkview lost all three of their games in Pine Bluff. Bryant lost their first two but wrapped up the tourney with a win today over Raymond High of Memphis. Now, your Silver Star Nation report, brought to you by Steve Landers Toyota. The Eagles' win over the Giants on Sunday clinched an NFC East title, making the Cowboys' 47-16 stomp over the Redskins merely a bow on top of an 8-8 eight eight season. This outcome wasn't on any Cowboy fans' wish lists, Philly stealing Christmas and leaving Dallas with empty stockings. But now, important questions loom large, one concerning the future of veteran linebacker Sean Lee. Mickey Spagnola has more. When there are high expectations of the Dallas Cowboys and the only finish 8-8, eight and eight, there's certainly a lot left up in the air at the end of the season. Will the Cowboys retain Jason Garrett as the head coach? What about the assistant coaches? We know that Jason Witten is thinking about retiring after this season. And then there's Sean Lee. After 10 years in the league, he's finally become an unrestricted free agent. So what about you, Sean? You know, I'm, I'm going to take some time and uh, talk to the wife, talk to the family, and um, see where I'm at physically in, in a month or two, and, and then make, make a decision that. And for Sean Lee, who spent every one of those 10 years here with the Cowboys with Jason Garrett, it's certainly hard for him to see that Jason Garrett might not be back. I mean, he has been such an inspiration as a coach. I've learned so much from him. How he handles every situation is unbelievable. And, um, you know, his words are, are powerful. And, you know, since the day he became head coach, his ability to motivate and stand tall and and uh, give us great perspective has always been unbelievable. So uh, and it was unbelievable meeting. And with that, we remain in a holding pattern here at the Star. I'm Mickey Spagnola for the Silver Star Nation. Definitely kind of disappointing end for Cowboys there. It was, although the Giants had the Eagles on the ropes late, but at the end of the day, Giants pulled ahead, and that's ending the fate right there for the Cowboys. They're going home. Yeah, not, not the news that they wanted, but, no. you know, next season. They have next season. There's always next season. Exactly. Yeah. Well, maybe, we'll, maybe a next coach, too. We'll have to see on we'll, that. We'll see. Yeah, that's yeah. everyone's waiting on that one. We'll be back with more after the break.